Tonight, some voters are asking, where's the money? A national report just out details what led to North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson failing to file his federal income taxes for five years straight. The Republican nominee for governor has been in hot water before. However, this is something his campaign is not disputing. Instead, it points to the fact that it happened more than two decades ago. And a campaign spokesperson told WCNC Charlotte's Nate Morabito Robinson has made no secret of his past struggles. The current lieutenant governor is not afraid to speak his mind, known for his polarizing views on many social issues. And his campaign says he's not hidden his past economic challenges either. An ABC News report found in the years leading up to Robinson and his wife filing for bankruptcy in 2003, amid severe financial struggles, he failed to file income taxes from 1998 to 2002, but ultimately filed his back taxes in May 2003 after the IRS took up the matter in bankruptcy court. ABC also detailed just how dire things were for Robinson at the time, with hardly any money to his name and significant debt. It builds on reporting done from WRAL, the NBC affiliate in Raleigh. Back in 2022, they outlined the income tax filing failures, but also a failure to pay delinquent vehicle county taxes here in North Carolina for five different years between 2006 to 2018. In response to ABC's reporting, Robinson's campaign called this old news and an effort to distract voters. His communication director told me in a statement, the lieutenant governor has overcome many challenges, financial and others, in his past. He's lived the struggles that families across North Carolina are facing every day. That's a quote. He noted Robinson, a former factory worker, lost his job, had his home foreclosed and eventually filed for bankruptcy. And now he's one election away from becoming governor. But first, he has to beat the Democrat nominee, Josh Stein, North Carolina's attorney general. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte.